A granulocytosis, also known as agranulosis or granulopenia, is an acute condition involving a severe and dangerous leukopenia, most commonly of neutrophils causing a neutropenia in the circulating blood. It represents a severe lack of one major class of infection fighting white blood cells. People with this condition are at very high risk of serious infections due to their suppressed immune system. In a granulocytosis, the concentration of granulocytes drops below 500 cells per cubed of blood. Classification The term a granulocytosis derives from the Greek, a, meaning without. Granulocyte, a particular kind of white blood cell. Andosis, meaning condition, ESP. Disorder. Consequently, a granulocytosis is sometimes described as no granulocytes, but a total absence is not required for diagnosis. However, osis is commonly used in blood disorders to imply cell proliferation, while penia to imply reduced cell numbers. For these reasons, granulopenia is a more etymologically consistent term, and as such, should be preferred compared to agranulocytosis. Despite this, agranulocytosis remains the most widely used term for the condition. The terms agranulocytosis, granulocytopenia and neutropenia are sometimes used interchangeably. Agranulocytosis implies a more severe deficiency than granulocytopenia. Neutropenia indicates a deficiency of neutrophils only. To be precise, Neutropenia is the term normally used to describe absolute neutrophil counts of less than 500 cells per microliter, whereas agranulocytosis is reserved for cases with ANCs of less than 100 cells per microliter. The following terms can be used to specify the type of granulocyte referenced, inadequate numbers of neutrophils, neutropenia, inadequate numbers of eosinophils, eosinopenia, inadequate numbers of basophils, basopenia, Signs and symptoms, a granulocytosis may be asymptomatic, or may clinically present with sudden fever, rigors and sore throat. Infection of any organ may be rapidly progressive. Septicemia may also progress rapidly. Causes, a large number of drugs have been associated with a granulocytosis, including antiepileptics, antithyroid drugs, antibiotics, cytotoxic drugs, gold, NSAIDs. Mebendazil, allopurinol the antidepressant mirtazapine, and some antipsychotics. Clozapine users in the United States, Canada, and the UK must be nationally registered for monitoring of low WBC and absolute neutrophil counts. Although the reaction is generally idiosyncratic rather than proportional, experts recommend that patients using these drugs be told about the symptoms of agranulocytosis related infection such as a sore throat and a fever. The Centers for Disease Control recently traced outbreaks of agranulocytosis among cocaine users, in the U.S. and Canada between March 2008 and November 2009, to the presence of levamisole in the drug supply. The Drug Enforcement Administration reported that, as of February 2010, 71% of seized cocaine lots coming into the U.S. contained levamisole as a cutting agent. Levamisole is an anti-helminthic drug used in animals. The reason for adding levamisole to cocaine is unknown, although it can be due to their similar melting points and solubilities. Diagnosis The diagnosis is made after a complete blood count, a routine blood test. The absolute neutrophil count in this test will be below 500, and can reach zero cells per cubed. Other kinds of blood cells are typically present in normal numbers. To formally diagnose a granulocytosis, other pathologies with a similar presentation must be excluded, such as aplastic anemia, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, myelodysplasia and leukemias. This requires a bone marrow examination that shows normal cellular blood marrow with underdeveloped promyelocytes. These underdeveloped promyelocytes, if fully matured, would have been the missing granulocytes. Treatment in patients that have no symptoms of infection, management consists of close monitoring with serial blood counts, withdrawal of the offending agent, and general advice on the significance of fever. Transfusion of granulocytes would have been a solution to the problem. However, granulocytes live only 10 hours in the circulation, which gives a very short-lasting effect. In addition, there are many complications of such a procedure. 
See also, complete blood count, granular cytosis, references.